Okay, I just removed the uh, front input shaft bearing, which is here, using a uh, Craftsman uh, two-leg puller. And the next step is to uh, remove this pump here in an effort to get to this bearing here. And then that will allow me to get to the to the uh, five threaded screws that are securing this aluminum uh, driver, ball driver they call it. You can see the wear on the ball driver so I'll be replacing the ball driver and the two new two used bearings with these uh, two new bearings here. Alright, let me lay this aside here and See if this will show the how to. Now we got to pop this little screen out, which is the filter for the little pump shaft. It should come up like that. I don't, I don't want it to fly away into the Neverland. Neverland is the place stuff disappears and never, never returns. All right, there's the little screen mesh. It looks like it's made out of copper, real fine, super fine. It's got a little trash in it, so we'll wash that out real good. All right, here's the uh, securing. See, the thing is not removable because the spring holds the plunger and the cylinder pump up against the shaft that it rotates on, or cam shaft that it rotates on, lobe shaft, whatever you call it. So we've got to take this uh, set screw out to get the, uh, there we go. Looks like there's a little burr from being torqued down by someone in the distant past. Knock that off. Don't want to. There we go. Don't want that floating around. All right. Put that. Let's see. I got my little cup here. After. All right. Now there's a little spring. You see the little spring. I hope. Hope you can see it. That should fall out. There's a spring. Not much of a of a valve spring, so to speak. But that holds tension on the uh, on the plunger. Now I believe I believe this should either tap out or fall down. Hope so. Maybe. Uh, yep. There we go. Okay. That sort of hung up there a little bit. Oop. There we go. Okay. There's the removal of the. Uh, floating oil pump. There's the, just can see it, there's the uh, piston coming up. Let's see if it, I guess it comes out the bottom side. We have to, a little snug there, see if I can push it down. Hmm, she's tight. Really tight. Let's see. Uh, it doesn't look like it can go this way because it's bigger. Well, I guess it goes out through the front. It's been a long time since I had taken one of these babies apart. Let's see what happens this way. There we go. Awful tight. Maybe it's corroded. Well, I think it should come out at the bottom. And I don't think it should be that tight. Maybe some corrosion. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it should come out at the bottom here. So I'm going to have to 
Well, there we go. Okay, you can see it trying to come out, but it's really tight. Makes you wonder how it was even pumping, but I guess the short stroke on it. There's the, uh, let's see, the cam lobe is right there. Just can barely see it. That would be the low side. This would be the high side, I guess. Now let's see if we can pull this out a little bit further here. Ooh, there we go. Okay, there's the uh, piston pump. And, uh, set that there. Alright, I'll flush this part real good. There's a bushing uh, up inside there. It's got a little wear. Got a lot of wear there. So, <clears throat> I've got a new bushing to, to knock into here. Hopefully I can knock it in. And I got two new bearings, and then I'll uh, double check the clearances on this plunger here to make sure that it will always pump freely, not hang up. If it hangs up, it's going to be the kiss of death because no oil will get up to the to the five roller uh, balls that are driven by this uh, aluminum driver here. Okay, so the next step I got to do after removing that is I have to remove this final bearing here. It's a little noisy. I don't know if you can hear it. There we go. Hear the noise. Shouldn't sound like that. This one's a little noisy too. Probably can't hear it over the speaker over the mic pickup there but uh, to my uh, one good ear that's noisy so we'll replace that I can see some scuffing ooh there's a piece of flake let's see what that is yeah there's a piece of metal flake from the bushing uh, sort of like a thrust part I can see it's been gouging a little bit there, so apparently there was not enough clearance this way or something because it, it's wearing into the housing a little bit here. Anyway, a new bushing sh should should help it should solve that problem. Okay, the next step is to pull off this bearing and then we can try to reassemble it. Reassemble this thing. Okay, thank you for viewing and have a good day.